Hello everybody, how do I sound? How's everything going today? I'll be on in just a sec. Uh, trying to get the, the chat to come up on the, um, on the screen. I don't know why, but I can't figure it out. So, hopefully I can figure that out. But I'll be on in just a sec. Okay, let me know how I sound. Is it too loud? It's too quiet. How about now? All right, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I don't know if I messed that up or not. Am I live? <laughs> Did I mess it up? No, oh, no, we're good. We're good. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I accidentally made it go live. <laughs> but that's all right. How's everybody doing today? Dang it, the chat is still not working. Why not? It was working a second ago, and then it was like... Wait, actually, I want to make things difficult for you. I don't want to work. That's how it sounds. That's how it talks. It goes like, I don't want to work. This right there. That's that's what's that's what's given us trouble. It's been giving us giving us trouble the past few weeks, actually, and I don't know why. But we might have to go chatless today, unfortunately. Let's see. Maybe if I duplicate it. Copy, paste preference. Nope. Nope. Oh, well. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today, we're going to be making some... <laughs> Today, we're going to be making some octopi and squid. We're going to be making some cephalopods. So that is the kingdom, phylum, class. One of those four... Octopi and squid, all those squishy little sea creatures that swim with tentacles. We're gonna make some of them. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood as always, uh, which is, you know, great. Let me fix this real quick, too. All right, well, let me talk about uh, what uh, you're going to need to make uh, what we're making today, if you'd like to, and then talk about how you can support this channel if you'd like to, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get crocheting. I think we can make, I think maybe we can make two today. Maybe, maybe. We'll see how the first one goes. All right, so first off, what you're going to need to crochet along with me today. If you want to crochet an octopus or a squid with me today, first thing you're going to need is the pattern. The pattern is going to be right here at clubcrochet.com slash octopus. It's totally free. That's the octopus pattern. If you want to get the squid pattern, which looks like... This. Look at that cute little squid. If you'd like to get this pattern, uh, it's it's at clubcrochet.com slash squid. You know, pretty easy. Easy squeezy lemon peasy. Besides the pattern, you're going to need the following materials. Now, the first thing you're going to need is worsted weight cotton yarn. You can use any kind of yarn that you want. I really like using wor worsted weight uh, cotton yarn for my patterns, uh, for my amigurumi. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using today. And if you got the Club Crochet Kit uh, for the pro memberships, you should have uh, cotton yarn and all the materials that you need already. Um, but I'll talk about that more in a second. Um, the colors you're going to need. You're going to need a main color, which we're going to vote on in just a second. And then you're going to need, uh, all you're going to need is a secondary color for the eyes. I'm going to be using white 
Or actually, we're going to vote on that. We might choose a different color uh, later in the stream. Okay, before I continue going on in the materials, let's vote on which color uh, we want to make our octopus while I go through everything else. So, our choices today for our first octopi, I think we're going to start with an octopi. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll do a squid for the second one, or we'll vote for the second one. So, we're going to go with what color should our first octopus be? Alright, so our choices are yellow. I chose, I tried to choose colors that I don't have, so I actually don't have any of these uh, already. Orange, pink, which I was actually pretty surprised I didn't have a pink one, or blue, and gah, there we go. You can vote now in the chat if you would like. I'm going to vote for that one. There we go. Okay, so besides the yarn um and again we're voting in the chat now on which which color we're going to be making our first octopi in you're also going to need a crochet hook i'm going to be using a size g four millimeter crochet hook uh it's what i like using the most there a darning needle i'm like i'm using a crimped end darning needle some scissors some stuffing and some eyes we're going to be voting on what kind of eyes to make our character in you can either use safety eyes like these uh, if you want, we actually have bottles of eyes in the shop too. Uh, but we, you can either use safety eyes like these. I'm going to be using either six or eight millimeter, or you can also use black yarn instead. Uh, and that's going to give your octopi more of like a classic octopus looking eye, you know, because they actually have like weird pupils that are actually like dashes almost. So that's our other, your other option for eyes. Um, and then stuffing and uh, whatever other colors you're going to need for the uh, hat. If you would like, we actually have crochet kits with all the materials that you need to make one of these in the uh, shop right now. And the kits actually come with uh, extra yarn so that you can make four different kinds of hats. You can make um, top hats, uh, pirate hat, chef hat, and I know there's one more. Sailor hat? I think those are the ones that I have patterns for right now. And I'm going to work for more work on more patterns for different hats in the future as well. Um, okay, so those are materials you need. Go ahead and grab those materials while you're doing that. Uh, let's talk about how you can help support this channel if you're interested in doing so. So there's a few different ways you can support this channel. The first easy free way to support this channel that everybody should be doing right now is like this video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and uh, you can hit that little bell icon to push notifications. You can also like share things that you've made with my crochet patterns on um, social media and tag us in, in the chat. Uh, other ways you can help support, <laughs> Tina's way ahead of schedule. Um, other ways you can help support is with a membership. That's probably the best way to support if you're uh, interested in helping uh, monetarily because you get actually a lot out of it. So with a membership, you get early access to future patterns, um, access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones every single month. This month's new pattern is going to be for a pterodactyl. It will be out. It should have been out today, Ooh, but I kind of messed that up. So it'll probably be out tomorrow. Um, this is going to be next month's Club Crochet Pro Kit. So this is going to be a new pattern added to the library very soon, as well as the Ankylosaurus. That's going to be this new dinosaur. We're doing dinos next month. Um, you can also sign up with a Club Crochet Pro membership, which is our kit membership. And that gets you a kit mailed to your door each month with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making this month. So this month, you actually got to choose between three different kits. People were able to choose between the octopus uh, and squid, a uh, sandcastle and beach ball, or a uh, seahorse and seaweed stand. Last week, we made the seahorse and seaweed stand. This week, we're making the octopus and squid. And then next week, we're going to be making the, um, the sandcastle. So that was last month's kit. Uh, next month's kit is going to be another choose your own adventure. <laughs> you can choose between our first set of dinosaurs to make a uh, a triceratops and a uh, a stegosaurus or our new set of dinosaurs 
the pterodactyl and the ankylosaurus. And these kits are going out at the end of the month, so. Woo. So if you would like a kit, now or never. Sign up now. Um, you actually get enough materials to make, I think, like four or five of these dinosaurs. It's a lot of materials. I tried to do a little bit extra next month um, so you can make extra ones because we're also going to be testing out a new game that I made uh, called Lava Run that you use your uh, crochet dinosaurs to actually play a board game with. So it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, we're going to try it out and see how it goes. But if you want to sign up for those pro kits, uh, it's now or never. So sign up now, please. <laughs> uh, you can also sign up for just like a regular membership as well and there's a free trial so if you want to just try it out see if it's something you're interested in uh, and you can cancel whenever you want so let's go ahead and move these fellas out of here you can also help support with purchasing merch and kits in the shop we have a bunch of different kinds of kits including this octopus and squid kit um, and almost all the monthly kits end up being kits eventually in the shop so if you saw a kit that we've done in the monthly kit uh, but didn't sign up in time for it you might be able to still purchase it in the shop uh, if it's not there go and reach out we, i might be able to add it uh for you i know some of them i sometimes forget to um and then there's also a bunch of different merch we've got pins uh we got the logo as pins we also got a little burb as pins uh i don't know where it is but you get the gist we got pins and stickers all that fun stuff and then the final way to help support if you would like to is with a tip. You can tip me if you'd like to. And uh, I say thank you so, so much. And I put something out for you to say thank you. And today, uh, let's see, what should we put out today? Should we put out octopi and squid? You know what, I'm gonna make it random. I actually have, I'm, I'm cleaning up our my craft room right now because we're about to move. And I'm just like compiling all my crocheted stuff into into like bins this is only one of these bins there's a there's like two or three of these uh just filled to the brim with crocheted stuff so what we're gonna do today is if you tip i'm gonna choose something at random and put it out on screen for you during the live stream uh to say thank you so let's start with tina tina you're first you're the bestest crochet them uh... um okay well uh... <laughs> Jack Gurgle will come out to say hi to you soon, Tina. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Now we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we got two. We also got Cooper. Okay, so let's start with Tina. Tina, I'm going to put out... Um... Let's put out this for you, Tina. This is a weird one. Uh, I don't have a pattern for this. This is just something I was canoodling around with. Um, it's like a gremlin, I think is what I'm going to call it. Uh, it's very gremlin-y. Big arms, little legs, and, and I did like really weird little stitches for the toes and the feet. So, I don't know. It's cute. Uh, I think it could use a name too, if Tina, if you got an idea for a name, let me know. We'll put that out there for you, Tina. And then Cooper, Super Cooper's coming out hot. Uh, I... <laughs> Gecko says I'm lizardist for not having a lizard pattern. Well, we got dinosaur patterns. They're like lizard almost. And we got frogs. Well, those are amphibians. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I know I have a chameleon somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put out something much better than a lizard. Let's see. Much be What's much better than a lizard? Uh, 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 uh. Well, 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 well. We'll do. I know what's better than a lizard. I know what's better than a lizard. He compared them to chickens. Well, she, he's crazy. If if he doesn't think this is better than a lizard, then uh, Coop, I think it's it's high time you find a new. Uh, gecko. No, <laughs> just kidding. Dragon. I mean, right? Let's start off. Let's get let's get a dragon up in here to watch over what we're doing. So we're gonna have a dragon out, and we do have this in the shop and kits and stuff too. It's a really cool pattern if you'd like to make it. 
Um, I'm gonna put this out for you, Cooper. You've been so supportive, uh, like all year, and so I think a dragon is is more than fair. So we're gonna have a dragon watching over us, and we actually have one more before we get crocheting. Spicy sauce. Spicy. What's spicy? You know, I did say random. We're getting random in here. Spicy sauce. I'm giving you something very random. A tomato. Just for you. <laughs> Wait, but this isn't just any tomato. It's actually a tomato that I made into a finger puppet. That's pretty random if you ask me. And it's probably a spicy tomato. Like, it looks pretty spicy, right? Why did I make it into a finger puppet? That's a great question. I wanted to make a video and have it. I, I was practicing my editing to make it so that I can make the face moving with the, it doesn't matter. I made it a finger puppet. And that's what I did. <laughs> okay, okay. What color are we making our octopus now? Ah, oh, Johnny. Okay, hold on. One more thing. Johnny tips also. Thank you so much, Johnny. Let's see. Going into the pit. Oh, here's a weird one. This is a random one for you. This one's a nice random one. This one's for Johnny. Um, it's actually kind of coming apart. I made this a long time ago long time ago can you tell who it is it's a pod person let me know if you can tell who it is uh i'll i'll reveal the answer in just a second but this this amazing like look at the color look at look at these like i did like flaps on their helmet and stuff very detailed crazy took took a long time i remember making it Meta Knight. It does kind of look like Meta Knight, but it's not Meta Knight. I'll give you a hint. Uh, he's definitely the villain of what he's from. Yeah, that's right. Takoyaki's on it. It is Shredder from TMNT. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right. It's Shredder from T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, the choices have been made. It is a slim slim margin but the winner of the votes goes to orange and while i get started on this orange octopi we actually already are going to have to vote on the next thing because the face is going to come up way sooner than you guys think because this pattern is shockingly easy to make like crazy easy to make um by the way, it is a beginner pattern and it is free at clubcrochet.com slash octopus. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, while I make this, we need to make a vote on eyes so that I don't have to like stop when we get to the eyes. So we get to choose now on what kind of eyes we want to make um, as I get going. There's a few different kinds of eyes we could do. We could do the very simple uh, eyes that are like uh, the normal eyes that I do so we could do like let's call this like we got big bulbous eyes like like uh, eight let we're gonna say eight millimeter eyes with white around it six millimeter eyes with white around it actually we can choose a different color for eyes too do you think we, oh, let me know in the chat right now by the way, hi chat. Hello everybody. Derpy eyes. A lot of people saying derpy eyes. Um, we are gonna end up making a squid eventually. Uh, the eye we could do on this, we could do white eyes or we could do a color of eyes if you want to. Who thinks, let me know in the chat right now. Would you rather it be just like white eyes like this or do you want like some kind of fun color for the eyes? Also, keep in mind, we are definitely going to add a hat to this. So, keep that in mind. And I have a few different options for hats. Uh, people were putting their suggestions. Uh, people were making suggestions on the um, in the Instagram and stuff like... In the Google or in the YouTube comments thingy my bobby so i have a few different choices for eyes 
derpy, derpy eyes. A lot of people saying derpy eyes. Okay, derpy eyes. Derpy eyes. Which one seems the derpiest? I feel like this is very derpy. Yellow eyes with red horizontal pupils. There we go. Now we're getting interesting here. Thank you for the bless blesses. I feel so very blessed. Brown eyes. Tina. Interesting choice. Red eyes and horns. Zoe. Whoa. You want to make a demon? You want to make a demon octopus? Now, now we're now we're getting interesting here. Leaf sauce's idea. What's leaf sauce's idea? Embroider eyes like this so it kind of looks happy. Okay. All right. So here's our choices. Then we're gonna say. Um. Let's put it in the chat. We're gonna go with. Uh, what kind of eyes? Do we add? All right, so the options are between, we're gonna say, we're gonna go in order. We're gonna go A, B, C, D, can I do five? One, two, okay, I can only do four. Okay, so one of them we want is like, like Leaf Sauce said, like the derpy eyes like that look like an upside down V, like that. Um, which I totally can do. So we can do... We'll replace these eyes, actually, with the derpy eyes. Because I have so many ones that are like, like this, like he's just snorted something he shouldn't. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go derpy eyes, simple eyes... Uh, uh, squid E eyes or the upside down V eyes. That's what we're going to write it. So we're going to say derpy eyes, um, simple eyes, squid eyes or eyes. All right. Question has been asked. We also need to know how high up we want the eyes. So go ahead and vote for that. And then we're gonna choose how high up on the body we wanna make the eyes. Um, I still have a few more rounds before I need to decide that though. So we can we can go ahead and crochet a few rounds while you guys are voting on what kind of eyes to add. I thought this was gonna be a lot of fun, you know? Like we're just gonna make a squid and an octopus together one, one round at a time. I think I want I think I'll use that one. Ooh. Oh, the votes are coming in fast. We are gonna make an octa squid. We are gonna make a squid after this. So we'll do different kinds of eyes and stuff for our second squid. Yeah, whatever we choose for yeah exactly leaf sauce that's most of my eyes look like that whatever we choose for our eyes uh we won't choose for our second uh cephalopod's eyes but you know what we're already kind of flying <laughs> thank you robert i've been doing it a while i do think it's one of the things i am best at crocheting that is by the way, Stormcloud, uh, your name is dope. Like, very cool, very cool use of like weird characters to make your name. Seemed like it took you a while. <laughs> so we've been uh, cleaning up this apartment, getting ready to move. Uh, moving is hard. There's so much to think about and do it's like oh i just want to be moved just so i don't have to like deal with this whole everything you know you know what i mean lavender orc you want to crochet but can't even do a single crochet you can totally do it practice makes perfect have you checked out crocheting 101 yet that's my uh how to crochet series 
uh, that I made that teaches people how to crochet no matter how long they've been crocheting for. Ooh, Nana, that's an interesting idea. A demon octopus and an angel squid. It's not a bad idea, actually. We might be able to do that. Um, how long have I been crocheting? I've been crocheting for like at least 15 years, maybe a little longer. More than half my life I've been crocheting. Okay. Uh, you can create another account if you want to, Lavender Orc. It's not a big deal. Or, or you can like reach out. We can help you find your uh, login information. Um, will this pattern be in a video? I'm a solo learner, but I'd love to make this. Absolutely, it actually already is a video tutorial. Uh, if you go to that, if you go to clubcrochet.com/octopus, you can find uh, the pattern there, and it is free. Okay, choices has been made. Uh, and yeah, the video tutorial is there. There is also a video tutorial for the squid one. And the video tutorial goes really slowly, so it makes it very easy. All right, Derpy Eyes wins it. Okay, so we got Derpy Eyes. Now we need to know how high up to make the eyes. So, because uh, we can make the eyes... How high up do we add the eyes? So we can make them top middle or bottom of the face we could we could also do um yeah we could do top middle or bottom of the face Let, let's just go with that that's enough that's enough choices okay okay so we can do top middle or bottom the top of the face is going to be like up here you know it's kind of close to what um like this one is at the top of the face. See how he's got like a lot of body. That's top of the face. This one I would say is like middle of the face. And then this one or the squid actually is like the bottom of the face. So you can see the three different placements we could put these eyes. So we need to know that kind of information. And we also are gonna need to know if we want to do you know, if we're going to do derpy eyes, I think we should just keep the eyes white then. Just because, like, derpy eyes in a different color might be a little too much like, whoa, you know? Um, I'm going to choose that. Okay, we got a lot of a lot of people voting middle, and that's okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do one more round now and hope that we don't choose the top of the face. Or else I'm going to have to go backwards. But that's okay. Put the eyes in the brain. <laughs> in the brain. Top, middle, or bottom of the face for the eyes. We're already... Like, halfway done with this, honestly. Like, this is a quick... The great part about these octopi is they are fast to make. I'm going to go ahead and fix the focus real quick. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Okay. Middle is is taking it right now. That's all right. Man, I wish I could get the chat working. It's really a bummer. You know? Uh, whatever. Okay. Middle of the face. So that's going to be in like one or two more rounds. Oh, the chat's working. I don't know what I did. But the chat seems to be working. It looks like really blurry though. Doesn't it? Did I fix it? New members. 
Yes! Okay, cool. The chat is working. Awesome! I don't know what I did, but great. Um, okay, so we voted on the placement of the eyes. Right? What was the winner? Middle. Middle by 50%. Alright, that's good. That's good. Okay. So we need... Uh, I think we can do... I think round... 7 would be a good middle of the face. So we'll do one more round. That sneeze is making me sniffle. Our place has been so dusty since we've been like, you know, like cleaning up and moving everything around. Everything's all dusty. We've been very sneezy because of that. All right. Oh, we can move these octopi now too. Okay. Am I gonna make an octo squid? We're gonna make an a squ what? Is there something different between an octopus or a squid and an oct? What's an octo squid? I'm gonna make a squid after this, if that's the question. Um, okay, so that's halfway. Now we need to do one more. Uh, we can start adding the eyes in this next round. The eyes and the nose, like what I really like about this pattern is it's very um, customizable, as you can probably see. And I am going to be able to make, um, we're gonna do eyes, mouth, the eyes and the mouth uh, to make it as complicated as we can. So we need to do seven single crochets and then an invisible decrease one two three four five and six and here's seven um how is jules doing today jules is doing great yeah she's she's chilling today <laughs> Having a nice day. You can make a, a nice soup bowl with this pattern as well. Yes, you could. That's a you absolutely could. Okay, so this is gonna be eighth stitch, and this will be the ninth stitch. Okay, great. Now we need our white yarn. Look at look at this cute little ball of white yarn that I made. Where's the end? There we go. Um. Does it take a couple hours for you to crochet an octopus like the one you're making now? No, honestly, if you're really, uh, you're going at a good speed, you can make this in like 30 minutes. I think if I were to like speed run an octopus, I think I could do it in about 15 minutes I could make one. They're very quick patterns. I mean, there's only, I don't know, like probably 100 or 200 stitches total in this entire pattern. So it's very, very, quick and easy to make. All right, so there's one eye. We're gonna make this real derpy looking though. Okay, and then we're gonna do crochet around it there for the second stitch. I'm gonna pull the white to the side and then do one more. And then we could do our mouth. The mouth is really fun to make on these octopi. Check this out. Yeah, the music is, I am vibing to the music too, Lavender Orc. I think the music, it's like Nintendo. I looked up Nintendo like underwater music. That's what I found, so. All right, so next is the mouth. I think that this is how we do it. I haven't made one in a while, but I'm pretty sure this is right. You just basically like slip stitch around from the inside in a circle, right? So you're like, like that. One down here, and then back right here. Okay, so, so you make these slip stitches around. And then you, uh, I think we, let's see. You know what, why don't we look up the little tutorial that I have for it. Okay, and then we slip stitch into this first one right here. Like that. 
chain one and turn and then we single crochet into all the slip stitches that you made around it's what i love about this pattern is you don't need to sew together anything actually i'm pretty sure i can make this whole thing without using that darning needle at all um, because i have a new way that you can sew closed without using a darning needle that i figured out so I think we're gonna give that a shot today and not even use a darn needle once in this whole video. Well, actually we might need it to sew on the hat, whatever hat we end up making for him. Okay. Oh, speaking of, we need to start voting on that soon too. I'll tell you what, after we finish the face, we'll start voting on that. See, we need six. One, two, three, four, five, one more. There's the sixth one. Now, if you're doing this pattern and you're a complete beginner, um, you don't have to make this face part at all. You don't have to do these eyes or the nose. Uh, you can make it really, really simple and just put on eyes and just like pretend that nose isn't there. And it makes this pattern way, way easier to make. What's that goblin looking thing in the background? That I guess is a gremlin. I, I was just like messing around, like trying something new out. Um, and so I made like this little gremlin guy. Um, uh, and it's out there for Tina to say thank you for the, being the first donation today. Okay, then we need to do back to here. We do one more single crochet like this. And then we'll do another eye. Hey, novelty. How you doing? That's such a great name for a tea. Someone should make a tea called novelty. It's a really good idea. How is everyone's day going? That's a great question, spicy sauce. My day is going all righty. Hey, okay. How's your day going? Oh, I know this song. What is this from? It's a menu of something. Hmm. Yes, I was thinking that would be really fun too. Uh, uh, process so Blackthorn. I'm gonna call you Blackthorn. Also, I love your. I think I've, I I re recognize your thumbnail. Um, it looks really cool. I, I it looks like you drew it. Um. Uh, I agree though. This totally could be a Stitch character. I was kind of thinking actually that the how this character could work in Stitched if I made it is he could bounce off the heads of other characters so like let's say these are other characters here and normally you can move like the distance of a playing card right but if there's another character within that distance then you could bounce off of that character and move another distance and then you could continue that up so you can move really far by just bouncing off the heads of characters i don't know that was my initial idea for that but just a just a little idea bit of a rough week cooper i am so sorry that's that's rough i hope you i hope you have a better week next week i hope uh yeah i hope you have a nice sunday um okay so that was the end of that round oh wait i was supposed to do an invisible decrease at the end here whoopsies almost forgot so this needs to be an invisible decrease yeah my week was um honestly i can't even think about my weeks anymore they're they're so like july has been just so like i feel like i'm on a rocket ship you know i blink and it's like oh it's the 17th of july wow where did that go you know what i mean okay so we got the face made there pretty much we need to do another round of it and stuff but we need to start thinking of hats um, because we're going to be making a hat after this. So let's go ahead and start the vote for hats. Um, 
And let me know if you have... Let's see. Okay. What hat do we make for our octopus? All right. So the choices are going to be between... I love the idea of doing demon horns. Um, that was... Uh, someone's idea here in the chat doing an angel and demon and I think that's kind of fun so we're gonna do demon horns uh, a cowboy hat that was suggested in the in the uh, Instagram post um, a uh, someone had a really good suggestion I can't remember what it was let's go back to the Instagram and see what Oh, a sun hat. No, it was on the YouTube chat. Sun hat. I like that. Sun hat. Like a big floppy sun hat. Uh, and... Someone said an Ushanka? I don't know what an Ushanka is. Oh, it's like a... Oh, okay. Nah, we don't need an Ushanka. You know what? Someone said a twirly, like, um, like, I, what are these things called? Like, a twirly hat. Like, it, like one of those hats where, like, it's a baseball cap, but it's, like, red, yellow, and blue. And it's got, like, a little spinny thing on the top. That might be pretty tough to make. But we could try it. Twirly hat. All right. Choices are out. Go, I went ahead and put it in the po the poll up right now. Let me know which one you think would be fun for the hat. I kind of think that would be fun. But that's just me. Propeller hat. Yeah, I call that a twirly hat, but you know what I meant. Sure, I could I could crochet a propeller hat if I need to. I mean, we're going to have, you know, it'll be something we'll have to figure out, but we could try it. Depends on if it wins the vote or not. If I can't, then we'll do the second uh the second best hat. What's a Kirby hat? Lavender Orcs is a Kirby hat. Do you mean like literally Kirby as a hat? Like eating him, like uh, like in the new game. Won't let you vote, Froggy. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, like a. Oh, a pinwheel hat. That's another name for it. Yeah, totally. Turtley, turtley. He's looking pretty cute so far. Wow, a lot of votes for Demon Horns. Okay, wow. All right. I like you guys. We're vibing. Because I love the idea of doing... I I really... Uh, I know this is, this is a weird thing to like. Uh, but I like... I like demons. <laughs> I think they're fun. I also like goblins. So, you know, I, goblins are kind of like demons. Oh, Tino, I'm so sorry about your, about your dad. But I'm sure he's gonna love the roses. The empty white eyes look terrifying. They do. I'm, I'll fill them out with some derpy, uh, some derp, derpy safety beads in just a sec. After this round. Actually, we gotta do it after the tentacles. But yes. Have I ever watched Demon Slayer? I've not watched Demon Slayer. Is it good? 
I mean, it must be good if you're suggesting it, right? All right, I went too many stitches. Okay, for the next round, we want to do tentacles. Oh, actually, we got to vote on the tentacles, too. Okay, there's two different kinds of tentacles we could do. Oh, man, we already did the vote for the hat, though. Do we do a vote for the tentacles, or do I just make the executive decision to choose which tentacles we make? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just going to base it off of, like, the literal chat. So... Uh, we're going to keep the vote up for what kind of hat to make, but I need your suggestion for um, what kind of tentacles to make because there's two different options. Option one, we can make uh, very rounded tentacles like this. See, he's got like little rounded tentacles. It's very cute. Option two, we can make pointy tentacles like this. See how they have little points at the ends of them? Which kind of tentacles do you think we should make for our little character here? I'm kind of inclined to say pointy just because it looks like we're going to add demon horns to it. And it feels like pointy tentacles with demon horns makes the most sense. However, round tentacles with demon horns makes him look like a cute little demon. Let me know in the chat. Which one do you think would be better for our little dude here? And let's start thinking about how we're going to make these horns, if, if that is what we're going to make. The two different choices we could do for the horns is we could do them on little uh, pipe cleaners, which would make it really easy to add them. Uh, and then we can make them a little bit more... Yeah, a lot of people are saying pointy. Pointy... Pointy. Yeah, okay, let's do pointy. I like that. Let's do, we'll do pointy, we'll do pointy tentacles. And then we'll do, uh, for, yeah, that makes sense to me. All right. So. And, okay. So we need to do, it's slip stitch one. And then we chain one, and then we double crochet two. One, two, and then we do a mini pico, mini pico, a mighty pico, like that. And then we do another double crochet. And then we do a slip stitch into the same stitch, and then we repeat. All right, so we're going to repeat that all the way around. See, it's going to make this little pointy tentacle all the way around. It's going to be really cute. Osei Craft. Uh, I do have a, uh, a Yoshi, crocheted Yoshi pattern. Um, it doesn't have... It's, it's like pretty bare bones. Like I made it a long time ago. Uh, it's not up to par with the rest of my patterns. Um, so I'd really like to remake it. Um, but I do have one. If you would like it, uh, you can uh, reach out to me, Oze Craft. Uh, you can reach out, just email me. And uh, yeah, I could I could give you, give you a, a look if I get ch a chance this week. I'll just send it to you. It's not, again, it's not like the best pattern that I have, which is why I'm kind of like, yeah, you can have it, you know? See? A little pointy, little pointy ones there. Slip stitch into this next one. Because Demon Horns is still winning, right? Yeah, Demon Horns. Maybe we should give it eyebrows, too. Hmm. There's an idea. Well, one one thing at a time. It just might be a nice way to like make it look either grumpy or happy or whatever. What's 
those look those are looking good though. Good little tentacles. One, two, chain two, and slip stitch one. <laughs> it creeps people out when you crochet or knit without looking. <laughs> That's funny. I used to practice that. I used to I used to practice with my eyes closed crocheting see if I could make a whole beanie. I got pretty good at it. Froggy Dragon you're making Mr. Rogers as a uh, gift. Oh, that's cute. Love Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mr. Rogers makes me think of my great aunt. Um, who's still kicking it at 101, I think. Uh, she, I used to, we used to go over to her um, house in uh, Southern California. And it was like. It was so funny because it was such a cliche old person's house where she had like butterscotch candies out and we'd watch like Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and Teletuffies and stuff. And I remember thinking, I'm way too old for this. <laughs> but it's a good memory to have. Whoa, Laura, that is an interesting, wow. That has got to be the uh, like one of the most unique uh, things that I've heard someone learn how to do in lockdown. Because everybody, no, uh, everybody learned how to do a different um, like thing during lockdown. You know, everybody, everybody like tried something new. I got really, really good at Super Smash Brothers. Like that's, that was what I, I mean, obviously I crocheted a lot too, but I also got really into Super Smash Brothers. It's funny to know that your thing that you got really into and when you started lockdown is how to write with your left hand. Like what a, what a fun thing to learn. That's cool. Oh, I should try learning how to crochet with my left hand. That's a good idea. Um, Johnny, what is wrong with butterscotch? Nothing is wrong with butterscotch. I love butterscotch candies. Big fan. Big fan. But they are like, you know, the cliche old person candy, right? Okay, we're going to finish this round up and then we are going to, uh, I'm going to change the poll. We're going to choose another thing because I think I've given you enough time to vote on what kind of hat to put on or what to put on this head Two. it's gonna be fun figuring out how to do demon horns because there's there's really two different ways that we could do it okay and then we slip stitch into this stitch and yeah all right that'll be the end of that round we can pull out this now okay next up we want to add eyes and and uh and face stuff and probably the horns so first i'm going to uh end the poll demon horns wins it love it you gotta love it <laughs> jules is gonna laugh at that because she knows that i love making little demon stuff so that'd be fun uh and then the other question i want to know is uh 
All right, there's the next question. So the question is, eyebrows? Yes? No? Unibrow. Your choice. Yes, no, or unibrow. While you're doing that, we're gonna add our eyeballs. We're going derpy. Don't forget, we're going derp. Derp City, USA. So we want it, when I make my eyes derpy, I want the eyes going out that way because we want them to look as derpy as possible. So we're gonna go right here at the top of the eye, on the top outside of the eye, like right here. And I'm gonna place my crochet hook in there. Like that. And this just makes a little space. Oops, I hooked onto the yarn on the other side. This just makes a little hole so we can put our eye in there like that. And then you just wiggle it. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know, Laura. Squiggly unibrow or straight one? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to make that decision if, if we get there. If unibrow wins the vote. That's a good question. Probably a straight one, or or maybe like a little bit grumpy looking. Okay, so we want it like. I actually want it even more on the outside if I can. Like really, I really want it looking outwards like that way. You know, it doesn't look that derpy yet, but when we put the other one in there looking the opposite way, it'll look really derpy, I think. So I'll go ahead and lock that eye in place. We could make some adjustments in a sec. And then the other eye, the other way around, we want it outside like that. And then we're gonna go like that. That looks pretty derpy to me. Does that look derpy enough to you? I kind of wish that was even more looking that way, but you know, we did the best we could. Well, maybe I could do a little bit. Actually, if I can like stuff this part like under the eye a little bit, maybe. Squish that part in there. Okay. Leah Malia, do I remember you? I think I do. Did you change your thumbnail though? I usually that's my way that I remember people more often is like their picture. But yeah, I'm doing good too. How are you? Okay, what's the vote on unibrow or, or eyebrows? Looks like a yes, we're getting yeses on that. So we'll get to the eyebrows in just a second. Let's do the, let's do the horns. Okay, so. going red we're going red with the horns now the two ways I could do the horns I could do them on pipe cleaners so that we could bend them into different directions and stuff which I think is probably the most fun way to do it the other way I could do is I could crochet it and sew it on but you know let's get a little weird with it so we're gonna take our pipe cleaner take it like this um, and I'm gonna cut it in half twice actually Do I have you know what I'm gonna save my scissors because if you use your scissors to cut things in half, it dulls the scissors out. So I'm gonna use my pliers here instead to cut them in half. And I actually think we can cut it in half again because the horns are gonna be very small. No, I don't think we're gonna go really big with demon horns. I am not lizardist. I like lizards. I like lizards. <laughs> I like lizards. Okay. And we're going to use this like dark red. It's actually the same yarn that I used for this. And this is actually the rest of this yarn. This yarn isn't made anymore. So I'm almost out of it. But we only need a little bit. So it's fine. Okay. We're going to take this. I'm going to fold it in half place a darning needle in between it there and then I'm just going to twist around the darning needle one time 
This is going to make it so there's a hole at the end so that the darn needle can fit through it. And then we're going to twist it up however long we want the horn. I think that's long enough. You know, we don't want them too long. And then we're going to do the same with this one so that they're the same length so we don't mess that up by accident. there. Twist it. You have a question. What's your question? Leah Malia. I think that's about the same length. Okay. So next up, we want the placement of the horns. And, you know, I think the horns need to go, like, above the eye and then a little bit outside. A little bit more on the sides of the head. So, like, maybe, like, right here. And I'm going to put these into two adjacent stitches like that. That looks like a good spot. Obviously, we're going to bend them and stuff. And we're going to follow this around to this side. And we'll go like right here. In there. And in there. Like that. <laughs> it kind of looks like alien. Like a... Uh, antenna right now which i i kind of like that also actually <laughs> all right but we're doing demon horns we're not doing an alien and then we're just gonna twist the excess of the pipe cleaner on the inside look at this i'm doing a tutorial without you even knowing it and we're gonna do that on both of these horns if i can there we go. And this is just going to keep the, them like locked into place. And then we're going to grab some of our red yarn. We don't need too much. I think that's probably fine. Cut it. And thread it onto our needle. Put our pliers away. Um, we might use this red for eyebrows too. Since we're like, you know, because it, cause it'll work with the rest of it. I usually don't like to add too much like excess different kinds of colors in it. So, all right. And then we're going to come out through one side of this horn right here. Pull it almost all the way through. So we just have a little bit left over. And this is just going to be so we can double knot it together. And then we're going to start wrapping it up with the horn. And this is the fun part. Okay, so this is how we're actually going to be shaping the horn. Um, is we're going to go and we're going to, like, I like to make it so it's thicker on the bottom. So I'm going to wrap it around the bottom a few extra times. And then slowly start working my way up like this. And then once we get to the end... We're gonna take the needle because it's threaded on the needle. And we're gonna go straight through the center. Because remember how we made that little loop? Just like that. And then we're gonna do this a few times to wrap the end of the pipe cleaner up with yarn too. This is how I like making like any kind of like pipe cleaner additions to my patterns. I really need to make a tutorial for this because it's really, really useful. Um, I like to make weapons out of pipe cleaners using this method and um, yeah, any kind of like little addition like this. It's just really useful. I started doing this in high school, and I remember the first time that I figured it out, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be so useful. And it is. I use it all the time. All right, now we're going to start wrapping back down it. And what I'm kind of kind of trying to do as I go down is still, like, I want it to be thin on the top, as thin as we can, at least, on the top. And then we really want to thicken it up as we get down towards the bottom of the horn. Ooh. Like that, maybe? Kind of squish it. Right? That looks like a demon horn, doesn't it? Then we'll have it like bend. And what's going to be nice is we can make this in bunch, like we can make it bend that way or that way because it's on a pipe cleaner, so we can do it however we want. And then we'll just 
So into the opposite side of the horn. Like that. And the tricky part is going to be trying to make this one like this one. But we can get there. And all we need to do now is double knot on the inside. Easy squeezy, lemme peasy. Okay. Now before I start the next horn, I think we should start getting name suggestions. Because uh, we're going to need to name this, this dude. For sure. Looks like we have... I'm going to save this bit because this isn't enough for the second horn, but it is enough for the eyebrows. Um, okay, so let me get a Google Sheet started real quick. So that we can start doing name suggestions. Okay. Name our demon octopus. Named by Okay. Share. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this into the chat right now on YouTube. There we go. I think that should work. Let me know if it doesn't work. Um, and hey, Coop, can you uh, post that every now and then in the chat? Uh, for until we finish the octopus so that we can like you know only like once or twice just to like keep it so people can name it and I'm going to start on the next horn oh where am I from I'm from California United States and uh, this is what Leah Malia asks. And then they also asked, uh, can I talk in my country and say to us, how many languages do I know? I, so I am only really fluent in English, but I do know a little bit of un peu of French. I know a little bit of Japanese and I know a a very very small amount of Spanish but I'm not really fluent in any language other than English but I do like other languages a lot I'd really like to learn um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm actively learning Japanese right now, uh, trying to relearn it. I took it for four years in high school, uh, but I barely remembered it. So I started to uh, relearn it this year. And uh, I'm doing pretty good, you know, learning new stuff every day. The hard part is I'm learning how to read it and write it, and it is really, really hard to learn how, not only just to like learn how to speak Japanese, but also how to read Japanese. Oh my gosh, that language is like crazy difficult to learn. So I'm doing my best though, you know? Okay. Now's the tricky part again. We need to try as much as we can to mimic the other horn if I can. pretty good especially if we like that's actually that's not bad okay Is it the same side eh, that's fine 
Okay. Head in there. And we'll mess with the positioning of the horns in a second, too. See if we can't figure out a good way to make it look. I still added way too much red yarn, but I won't. Okay. That on the inside. And fun, fun, yes, wow. Okay, we got a demon octopus. This is this is looking pretty good so far. This is looking pretty good so far. Uh, next up, we need to stop the eyebrow vote because you voted, and you voted yes. Oh, what names do we have so far? Oh, ba oh guys, put your names in. There's only like three people have even named it. All right. Um, if you want Five World Explorers, you can put it in the chat here and maybe someone will add it to the uh, Google Sheet for you if you're having a hard time like getting into the Google Sheet. So that, that might be an option. Um, okay, so everybody, people said yes on the eyebrows. I think that the best way to make the eyebrows is not really to make them angry, but to make them like... Well, let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. I think I think if we just come up from right here i'm going to use red for the eyebrows so that they match the horns because i think that would be nice i'm um, adding a third color into this i think is unnecessary but i think if we just go like this like just straight over just a straight eyebrow it'll look really funny you know if we just have it like ooh. maybe double it up you know, it adds like a little something, but not like too crazy. Let's try doubling it up. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It makes him look like he doesn't know what the heck he's doing, <laughs> which I really like. It makes him look like, uh, why, what am I doing here again? Or her, we don't know. Them. Oopsies. Hold on. Let's get that yarn. Let's try this again. Double knot it. One. We go on the outside here. Like that. Jiminy wants in. My cat. My cat is very demanding right now. But you know what? No. I don't need to. Ooh, what is a Serena octopus? By the way, Naughty Flowers, thank you so much for the donation. I super duper appreciate you. Super duper appreciate you, per. We're going to go ahead. Let's do... What are we going to put out for... Naughty flowers. Let's go into a different pack right now. Aha. We're going to put this out for you. This is Flick, a little goblin that I made for Jules in the game that we were playing. Look how cute he is. Oh my God, he's so cute. Look at them earrings. He's a rich boy, as you can probably tell. He's a rich, fancy goblin, which are obviously rare. We're gonna put Flick right here. Oh, Jules is gonna love that. All right. Um, oh yeah, we wanna look up what a Serena octopus is. Oh, it's like the, oh my God, it kind of does look like one of those. Oh, it's so cute. They got like Dumbo ears almost. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's really cute. All right. Let's do the other eyebrow on this side. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Okay, good. We're doing fine on time. So one. We're gonna go in between this stitch instead. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. About like that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay. Let's double knot it. And then let's mess with the pl with the shaping of the horns cuz we can make we can try like a few different th options on horns. Like I'm not going to obviously I'm not going to like change the horns. I'm just going to bend them in different ways. Okay, so we could have them bent like this, like classic demon bent look, right? Or we can have them bent like, we can have them bent out, so they're straight. That doesn't really look very demon-y. We can have them bent backwards, like that. That's pretty demon-like, but kind of hard to see from the front. I mean, it looks really cool. This would be a cool addition to like, like a character to make them like a demon, but... I think I like to more like bent in like that. What if we had them like this? You know, they were like in and then out. Like that. That's pretty cool. In. And then out. You know? That's pretty awesome, actually. Way more threatening to me. Yeah? Speed octopus with it bent back, yeah. Okay, okay, let's keep crocheting. Uh, we, can, we can mess with the shape of the horn later too. And next up, we're going to uh, sew, like, finish sewing it closed, basically. So I can get my crochet hook in there, right? There we go. All right. All right, what do we do? We do two single crochets and then decrease one two and then we want to decrease it down like that okay one two decrease you know when I started this live stream today I was not expecting to make a demon octopus but you just never know you just never know what you're gonna make <laughs> all right then last round is just a decrease in each stitch. Okay, so let's just do the first one. I'm gonna stuff it a little bit now. Just a bit. Do you wanna just name it Evil Octopus? <laughs> Now, how can I crochet without a hook? Because you snapped it, huh? I 
I mean, that's pretty awesome, though. I gotta say, guys. That's pretty dope. Oh my gosh. I love them! Oh, those horns are super freaking cool. <laughs> I'm gonna use... I, I need to make more of those more horns like that on more things. They're way too cool. Now, normally, I tried to do, like, invisible decreases or something here, but I'm going to do, like, sharp decreases because you're never going to look at the bottom of them anyhow. And it'll help them stand up upright a little bit better. Okay, last decrease here. They're so close. Okay. Then we got to... We gotta do more votes, guys. First off, actually, let's just let's just finish this up. Oh, hey, I found the. Here's the other. That's one of the other pins that we have. Sorry, I couldn't find that earlier, but we have this little burb pin. I'm gonna be doing a lot more pins in the future too. So if you're interested in more pins and have any suggestions on other pins that you'd like to see in the future, um, go ahead and let me know in the. Uh, in the comments and stuff, I, I'm totally looking for more suggestions for pins. I want to do a pin club next uh, year, so I need to make 12 different pins, one for each month. So if you have any suggestions, that is a great place to put them. I will be reading them. Okay. And then I just need to sew it closed. Oh, I wasn't going to sew it closed with the needle, but whatever. We're doing it now. Okay. One more. A bonimal pin? Oh, a dragon pin. That's a good idea. Yeah, a dragon pin's a really good idea, actually. I was going to do Yancey the Yeti as a pin, too. Stitched pins. Yes, totally. It's a good idea. A hand crack pin. Oh, that's a fun idea. Maybe it says, like, do as I say, not as I do, or something. Um. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, our demon octopus is done. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, let's bend these a little bit better. It's pretty awesome, though. Oh, that's super cool. Look at him. Wow, super tiny, too. I actually crocheted really tightly. So it's really tiny. Okay, okay, we need... Um, Alright, so here's what I'm going to do next. Uh, first off, Ellie, thank you so much for your donation. Let's put something out for Ellie. Let's do... Um, let's do... Man, there's so many little things in here. It's hard to choose. Ah. Let's do this. Uh, I think I actually, you know what? No, you know what? I, I did this. I did this recently. Let's do one of these guys. Here we go. It's been a second. So this is for you, Ellie. Edgar Allan Crow. The burb. The great poet Ed Edgar Allan Crow. I'm gonna put that out for you, Ellie. Okay, so let's let's do a name suggestion here for, for our demon guy and, and I'll choose four and we'll put it in the uh, chat. Or in the like for you guys to vote on. Options are <laughs> I like these names. I like these names. Okay, hold on. So options are 
between. And then while you're voting on that, in our. Um, okay, wait, I need one more. Okay. All right. Name our octopus. It, while you're naming it, uh, you can vote on which one you need to name. Uh, Loving Life, I know. I'm really bad at posting on Instagram. I got to get better at that. I'm. Uh, thank you for letting me know, but I, I do know that I need to get better at it. Um, while you're voting for the name, I am going to do... Um, I'm going to get some yarn prepared for us to vote on for our squid. Uh, we're going to do a squid next. And uh, while I get that prepared, um, uh, I'm going to just take a little sec also uh, while you guys are naming this. And I'll be back in literally like, you know, three minutes. Uh, but I'll be right back. But I'll be right back. I said that weird. All right. Vote on the name. I'll be back with uh, choices of, of yarn for our squid. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. We're back. We're back, and I've got some interesting choices for your for our squid now. Um, and the votes are the votes are close, guys. The votes are close. We're gonna end the votes though. Three, two, one. Stretch your limbs, friends. Stretch your limbs. Banana. Ooh. All right. Um, the vote was... Oh, it was a tie between Octaville and Beelzebul. So Beelzebul, by the way, for people don't that didn't know... Beelzebul is a name for, like, the devil, I think. Um, and you might recognize it from, uh, from, uh, Bo Bohemian Rhapsody. When they sing, Beelzebul is a devil for a sign for me, for me. That's what the name is there. Um, but it's between Octaval and Beelzebul. I guess I get to choose, right? That makes sense. 
I like Octaville. His name is Octaville. Octaville the octopus. Okay, now we need to vote on what color to make our squid. Make our squid. All right, so your choices are between. This is kind of like a, like a beige with like fun little colors in it. So it's like beige. And we're gonna say it's like spotted beige is what we're gonna call it. Spotted beige. I think it's really cute. Um, we got yellow. We got light blue. And gray. It's a really fun gray though. This is the only gray. I think this is a miss uh, color. Um, this I, I ordered this from I ordered like a specific gray from uh, Lily Sugar and Cream and when it came one of them was like this really light gray and I was like oh my god you guys should make this light gray more uh, but they did this is the only one that I've ever gotten that's this light and I really like it a lot um, but yeah okay so those are the votes you guys can choose what color to make our octopus we also need to get black yarn what did I do with my... I could have sworn I had some, like, at hand. Some... Ah, here it is. Okay, so we do have... We have a little bit of black yarn. We need some white yarn or whatever for our eyes also. Uh, and I'm going to vote for... I like that one. Wow, no one wanted that color. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody's like, gray is gross. I hate the color gray. <laughs> banana, banana, banana. Yeah, confetti. I should have named it confetti yarn. But yeah, it is very confetti-y. All right, so we're voting on that. Um, I need to bring up the pattern for the squid as well. And now, oh, I actually should change this in the as well if you want to crochet a squid with me um what we're making here is the pattern i'm changing it on screen you can find the squid pattern at clubcrochet.com slash squid um the materials you'll need are going to be pretty much the exact same except you're going to need black uh, because there's color changes in it. Now I will say the squid pattern is more difficult. No question. It's a trickier pattern than it is to make the octopus. So giving you that heads up. Uh, but you know, you do you. Okay, I'm going to wait till there's 35 votes. So there's only 31 votes right now. Four more at least. Hmm. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Please, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I get a vote. I get to do a vote too. I get to vote too. I'm going to vote for... Okay. I don't think the votes are going to beat it. We're doing... Oh, shoot. It's tied again. Never mind. It's a tie game. It's a tie game. Should I wait? I'll count down. If it doesn't... If, it, if one doesn't win, I get to choose. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, oh, never mind. Never mind. It won. By, by like three now. Spotted beige it is. This is actually all I have of the spotted beige too. Okay. So we are making a... We are making a squid now with our spotted beige yarn. And... This time for the eyes, there's only one spot to make the eyes, so I don't have to do anything there. Um, we can do either of pointed or round. I guess the, the thing that we need to vote on still is 
how we make the eyes. So um, the options for eyes, well, let me get started on this though. Oh, did the music end? The music did end. Let's go to, where do you guys wanna go? Let's go to, let's go to the, let's go to space, baby. You gotta love space. Uh, Leah, Leah Malia, he is your boss actually right now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Leah. Cooper is the moderator of the chat. If he wants to, yeah, he's in charge there. Um, okay. Ooh, Processo Blackthorn wants to also make devil horns for the squid too. That's an interesting, interesting. Yeah, we gotta choose. We gotta choose what kind of hat to make our squid. But let's go ahead and keep going. One, two, three, four, five. And six. And then we'll just crochet around there. Halo. A lot of people, like, we got a lot of halos, which I totally, I, I'm vibing with, you know? I'll put the vote out there, but I, I am I am feeling Halo with our devil horned octopus for sure. What other what other kind of like angelic or like you know stuff like that can we What what else could we do for the squid? We can do a halo. I need other suggestions here. You could blue devil horns. Yeah, we could do that. Like different color devil horns. Or different kinds of devil horns. Like really long ones or something. Three. And then an increase here. Wings. Yep. Angel wings. I'm only going to add one thing. Halo would be really interesting though, because we, it would make it go like around the top of it. Hmm. Maybe tricky, but I think it might be kind of fun. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that was round three. This pattern also is like it's it's similar to the octopus. You know, a lot of things are the same, but it does have you know different shaping and stuff. A unicorn horn. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, so. Um, oh, wait. We need to add eyes first. So, um, what kind of eyes for our squid? Big, beautiful eyes. Um, I, I'm cool with going derpy again. I'm fine with derpy. Uh, uh, simple eyes. And I'll show you what the difference is in just a second. Or, um, like squid eyes. Squiddy lime eyes. Okay, so, ask in the chat. Your votes are between, those are squiddy lined eyes. These are simple eyes. They're just like really basic eyes. And then I can do like cheeks or something cute with them or like eyelashes and stuff. Um, then there's uh, the derpy eyes, which is what we did on this guy. And then big beautiful eyes are gonna be like, um, like this kind of, like big, big old buttes. So those are your choices for eyes. Big buttes. Derps, simple eyes, or squid line eyes. You choose in the chat, and I'm gonna keep crocheting. 
I think I am... I'm inclined for these ones, actually, which... Yeah, no one, no one thought, no one thought that was a good idea. That's all right. <laughs> I like that every time I vote for my own thing, it's like everybody's like, no, mm -mm, that's not what I want, though. And that's fine. In the meantime, we got some more rounds to crochet. Right, please. Ooh, a staff for the devil would have been kind of neat. Woo! I'm popping. ASMR style. Oh, hey, if you haven't yet. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll tell you what, if this video gets 250 likes, we'll do another, we'll do a giveaway next live stream as well. Um, just thought I should mention that. I'm in the same time zone as the Netherlands? I don't think that's true. Is that true? Is that real? Three. Four, and then six, seven. And then this would be seven and eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not in the same time zone as Netherlands. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. That would be pretty neat. It's funny, the space music and underwater music is very, like, gives me the same kind of feeling, you know? So there's the top of the squid coming together. Is that the end of that round? Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Cool. All right. So now I'm doing the frill. And the frill is like this thing that goes around the edge. Like this little like center thing. And I love how this is done. Check this out. So what you do is you just start like slip stitching up. You go one. And you go across the top. So two, three, four. Such a cool pattern. Five. Eight, it'll be up here. And back down. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. See, so first you do the slip stitches around. And then we turn chain one. Go 
start in this stitch. And we work our way back. What a weird pattern. It's so cool. All right. Slip stitch one. Then single crochet. Bye, Leah Malia. <gasps> this does look like ink splashes in the yarn. I love that. It's okay, Leah. You're you're chilling. You're chilling. No worries. All good vibes here. Can you tell that I am from California based on how I talk? I feel like it's very obvious by how often I say chill. <laughs> so it's one, two, three, four, five, right up to that. And then in the center we do one mini pico like it is and another one. Okay, work our way back down one. See? Looks pretty cool. I think. Aaliyah! And we are we doing a giveaway? No, no giveaway today. But maybe next time. Then maybe next week. Three. Four. One more. Five half double crochets, and then we'll do a single crochet. And then a slip stitch. All right, Novelty, thanks for joining. All right, so here's the slip stitch, and now we can see, and it kind of like bends backwards, which is exactly what we want it to do. I'll actually kind of like Tuck it in a little bit more. That's pretty good. All right, next we want to round eight continue, single crochet, okay. Into the next eight stitches. One. Five. And this will be eight, and then this last one we work into this chain and into the stitch. Hide it. Noise. Ver Vortly noise. All right. Now we can just do a round of single crochets. Seventeen and here's our eighteenth. Okay. All right. What kind of eyes are we making here? Ooh, the big buttes. Is that right? Oh, yep. Big beautiful, big beautiful eyes. Great. I love it. I love it even. All right. So this is the trickiest part of this pattern, though is that we have to do like color changes while we're doing their eyes, while we're doing the mouth. It's like, it can be tricky. So first off, we're just gonna take this one stitch at a time. Um, actually, while I'm doing this part, because it's gonna be tricky, let's go ahead and vote on what we wanna put on our, in, uh, our sorry, sorry, our squids ahead. Um, uh, what do we 
add to our squid. Uh, uh, a halo. Um, wings. Um, horns. Blue. Uh, or what else could we do? A bow? Um, oh, a unicorn horn. Or what else could we add? Let's do a bow. I mean, as the vote, at least. Okay, vote is in the chat now. Ayo, Aaliyah, thank you for the donation, or the tip, rather. I know what I'm voting for there. Um, okay. Thank you so much for the tip. Ooh, okay, yes, I could give you some, I could give you some advice. So first off, let me put out something to say. Thank you for, for supporting chat and stuff let's go ahead and put out a big box of crochet big box of crochet we're gonna do oh this is gonna be cute okay I'm actually going to put out two things for you, Aaliyah, because they kind of work together and they're just so cute. I just couldn't not do it. So, Aaliyah, I'm going to put out these two little tiny stars that I made that have little faces on them because they're so cute. They look like siblings. Like, this is the older brother and this is the younger sister or something. I just love them. They're so cute. So, we're going to put them out right here for you to say thank you. And then as far as tips for beginners, uh, they say, Aaliyah says, hello, I'm a fan and learning amigurumi. What is the biggest tip for uh, beginning? Okay, so for beginning crochet, what is a be the best tip? Um, I think the best tip is to, if you're starting out crocheting amigurumi, make something very simple and then make it three times in a row. Make something easy to make like this octopus, like make an octopus or something, something small, the triceratops, uh, even just like a little ball, and then make it three times in a row because every single time you make it, it's gonna be better and better and better. Uh, that is a, I very highly suggest doing it. Even today, I've been crocheting for like more than half my life. And even today, the first time that I make something, is never ever gonna be as good as the second time. And that's not even gonna be as good as the third time. And that is consistent across the board. Whatever I make, I always like making it more than more than once. So that's a huge suggestion. Make the same thing over and over when you start out. Um, and so that, that being said, make something that's small and quick and easy to make. Um, that's why I suggest like this octopus or the triceratops because they only take like half an hour to an hour to make. Um, Use the very simple magic loop method that I, I do a tutorial for. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash magic loop. There's also a video in my um, on my YouTube channel for it. Learn how to do that. That makes your life a lot easier. Uh, use stitch markers in the beginning. There's another good tip. Uh, uh, if you're having a hard time with your tension of your yarn, use a bigger or smaller crochet hook than whatever is suggested in the pattern. So if you're crocheting and you're like, man, my stitches are too open, they're too wide and open, use a smaller crochet hook than like, like it, for the octopus pattern, for example, I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook, but also I crochet very tightly. And so if you wanna try to get a good tension for your crochet, use a, a slightly smaller crochet hook, like 3.5 mil, uh, millimeters, I think that's an F. Yeah, I think that's an F size hook 
Uh, if your crochet stitches are too tight, where you're like, I can't get my hook into the stitches, use a slightly bigger crochet hook and it will loosen your stitches up. Um, as you start crocheting, the hardest thing that you can learn how to do uh, that is like, I can't give you, I can only give you so many, you know, tips or, or suggestions on how to crochet uh, when it comes to tension specifically. Tension and your gauge, which is like how tightly your crochet stitches are together, is is not something that you necessarily can learn from like someone teaching you, but comes from practice over and over practice. So that's going to be your most frustrating part in the beginning is not like here's how to do a single crochet. You can learn how to do that, but how to control your tension is something that is way difficult to uh, learn from like someone teaching you. It's something that you're just going to have to try over and over until you get it right. Um, I, I definitely think that uh, using different crochet hooks will help you control the tension a little bit more. And uh, also, um, uh, oh, oh, I got a text. Oh, <laughs> text from my friend who wants to play Mario Kart right now. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, controlling the tension is, is really important. Um, Yeah, I think that's I think that's my best. I think those are my best tips right now for a beginner. Um, take it slow, uh, one stitch at a time. Uh, if you're getting frustrated, put it down, leave, come back. Yeah, it's like. Ooh, ooh, and why when I work in the round are my stitches bringing in? So when you're working the round, they're like, like curving in a little bit yeah that that um probably is a tension problem uh but they do kind of just tend to do that too like when you first start crocheting really try to make sure you can tell the difference between the inside and the outside of your stitches so the inside of your stitches and i'm sorry by the way if everybody's watching this and you're like get back to crocheting you know it's nice to help a beginner sometimes so if you look at your stitches here this is what the inside of your stitches look like. See how there's like a little line in between each of these stitches right there? This. See this? This blue one's a good example. That is how you can tell that that's the inside of your stitches. The outside of your stitches are going to look like these V's. See all these V's? So make sure that these V's are on the outside and these are on the inside. If it's the other way around, then you need to like flip it inside out. Um, because when you first start crocheting, it's gonna naturally want to have these on the outside, but you don't want that. You want these on the outside. It looks a lot better, it's easier to control, and most of your stitches are gonna be around what these look like. So yeah, so those are some tips. Uh, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Let's get back to crocheting. Okay, so next up, we uh, we need to make our big, beautiful eyes. And we need our black yarn. Because we need to make some weird color changes here. So the first stitch is gonna be like this. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I'm doing that wrong. Okay, wait, our first stitch is actually going to be the other way around so that the black is on top of the stitch. Okay, that's tricky, like this. All right, and then we do six of them. So there's one. Two. Four, five, and then this will be the six. Six. Okay. We cut the black yarn. We'll come back to it. And then the rest of this round is just t -t 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 no, it's an invisible decrease, and then see the crochets. Okay. Will decrease here. 
seven. One, two, five, six, seven, and then our invisible dude, please. Okay. That's a tricky round, but we did it. And then now we're on to the next round. See how I made this like little line of black on the top. And that's gonna be for our color changes for the black around the outside of the eyes. Um, next up, we want to do the ethereal round. So we need this in place and pull through. We want the main color on the top and then our secondary color on the bottom for first single crochet. And then we need our white yarn. for our eyes. It's really tricky pattern. This. And then we need to add our bobble stitch eyes here. Oh, wait, we need the black yarn in between like this. One, two, and three, like that. Then we need to change back over to our main color. Okay. And then we need two stitches, two single crochets. It's our half color change. Sorry, this mouth part, this face part is tricky, so I really need to focus on it. So we'll tighten it a little bit. Right, we're just gonna place that eye to the side. One and there's two. Like that. And then we need to make the mouth. Okay. Whew! Tricky, tricky. Hey dad! My dad is in the chat. Okay, so next we're making the mouth. This part's tricky. One. We're gonna do, it's basically the same way we did the octopus though. We just like do a little circle around with slip stitches and then we crochet back around it. Three. Or we really need to keep this white yarn off to the side so we don't accidentally look around it. One, two, three, four, five. Last one right here. Six. And then we slip stitch into the first one that we made. Right? Chain one. Work our way back around. Oof, this part's tough though. One. Ooh, we got some blue in the mouth. That's kind of fun. Two. Three. So my dad is currently getting over COVID. He got COVID when we were in Vegas, probably. Um, luckily, I did not catch it. I don't know how I didn't, but I didn't. But my dad is getting over, over it a little bit. But we did have a really good time. We just went to Vegas this weekend. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And then we just go into that stitch here. Slip stitch one. Chain one. Whew! What a tricky mouth. And then get our black yarn back. Next stitch is here. Oh, wait. Their white yarn for the eye. Like that. There. Like 
that should do it. Okay, next, we need to make our next eye right here. Yeah, they both have it. Yeah, Mama's got it too. All right. There we go. And then I think I can just, actually we can cut the white yarn. We don't need that anymore. Uh, we can also move these octopi away. We're gonna keep our octaville out though. How much longer will the stream be? Not much longer, honestly. We are almost uh, done. We just need to finish up. We just need we need to make the halo and stuff. I'm thinking I'm about halfway done with the squid. So probably about 15 to 30 more minutes if you, yeah. <laughs> Johnny, you're funny. I can't wait. I, I'm waiting for that rough draft. You send it whenever. I know you were saying that you were waiting for me to be done with my um, my move first, and I do appreciate that. But you know, I could figure it out. I'll, I, if you, whenever you're ready. Okay, so now we're just gonna finish up this round here, and boom. Okay, squid's eyes are, our squid's face is made. Wow, what a round. What a crazy round that was. Um, okay, let's end this vote. Yeah, that's what I thought. Halo won. Halo won the vote. What was second, though? Wings were second. Actually, shockingly close. Okay, cool. That's what I... I mean, honestly, I was kind of hoping for the, for the Halo, if I'm being honest. Um, okay, next up, we are on round 12. Uh, should I do... Okay, next next vote, next vote. Um, what kind of tentacles? Round pointy. All right, next question. What kind of tentacles do we make? Round tentacles or pointy tentacles? And again, for reference, here's our pointy tentacles. We did it on Octaville here. Round tentacles look like this. So those are our two options. As I continue on to our next round here. I'm inclined to change it up, but it's all up to you. It is all up to you. Hey, next week uh, we're going to be doing a um, another live crochet along for a sand castle. It's going to be a sand castle crochet along. Um, I have plans to do it on Sunday. But I did realize that my friend is coming up and we're doing like a whole move thing on Sunday. So it might I might have to move it till Wednesday after. So not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that. Um yeah, just just hit me up, beam. Yeah, sure, Johnny. I mean, I, I really think that the best way to go about um, this collaboration is is if you give me the rough draft, I can just, like, look at it, work on it, and, like, just get some general questions for you first. And then we can have a chat about, like, how, how we should go about it, you know? But it'd be nice to get some idea about, like, what 
um, you know, some some feedback without without any in uh, without any like like influence basically. But yeah, okay, so that's gonna be that round. Next up, we are. We do one more single crochet here, move the stitch marker, and then we need to make the tentacles. Wow, a lot of people saying rounded. Okay, cool, rounded it is. Easy, easy choice. So we're doing rounded tentacles now. Oops, just one. Chain one. And then I think it's three double crochets. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Same, same stitch. Same stitch one. Chain one. And keep going. Sorry, I'm not, I wasn't in camera for a sec there. Sometimes it's hard to stay in camera as I go. How much more yarn do we have? Oh, we got enough. We're good. I was a little worried for a second. But we're all right. The halo is going to be an interesting thing to make. Because I'm going to... I want to try to make it go around the very top of this. You know? But we'll see. It might be tricky. But we'll figure it out. It'll be all right. Yes, yeah, Froggy Dragon. I'll, I'll bring out Jack. Jack will make an appearance right at the end. He loves calamari, so... I'm sure he'll be a big fan of what we made today. Yes, that is how you spell Jack Kirkle's name. That's that is true. Truth. Truth. All right, almost got the tentacles done. Oh, it's cute with the round tentacles though. Very cute. What's the biggest thing I've crocheted? I have crocheted a blanket. Um, I've also made a big puppet once, uh, which is actually right here. I made this. This this took a while. Hello. His name is uh, Bluey. Ah. I don't know how he talks. Hey, dude. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. But he's pretty big, you know? And it's all crocheted, which is actually kind of shocking. It doesn't really look crocheted at all, but it is. It's all crocheted. It's just, I used, like, fuzzy yarn and regular yarn simultaneously. So it's, so you can't really even see the stitches. Probably the biggest thing I've crocheted. See you later, Leaf Sauce. Thanks for joining. I know he is—he is really cute. I definitely need to do a tutorial soon on like how to crochet puppets. Uh, That—that's been a goal of mine for a while, especially like it was a big goal of mine this year. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it work. Uh, maybe we'll make it into like a kit for next year, like crochet your own puppet. I think that'd be a lot of fun.
Because it is tricky. It's a tricky thing to do. I've done a few puppets so far, and each one I've made a little bit differently than the last. Like, the internal mechanisms of how the puppet actually works. Uh, I've experimented a lot with, like, trying to figure out the easiest way to do it, specifically for crochet. Um, yeah, I figured some things out. Yes, I haven't finished it, but I do have the arms made for those for that giant troll puppet. Uh, it's definitely like something I'd like to work on, um, but you know, I haven't had a chance to work on it. No, I haven't. I haven't worked on it much, but I really should. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a single crochet there. Um, should we do the? You know what? I actually think now is when we need to do our halo. Let's do the halo. So first we need yellow pipe cleaner. And we can use the yellow yarn that you guys didn't vote on because it's very vibrant. Very vibrant yellow, which I like. Um, and we'll do the same thing. We're just going to cut. Actually, I don't even know if we need to cut this in half. Because it's going to go like, like this. It's just going to go like around it. And then we're going to connect it together here. And then wind it up and then connect it on the inside. And then I'm going to wind it with a lot of yarn. And we can cut it. We can cut it in. We can cut it in half. Let's see if it works. We might need to use another pipe cleaner, but whatever. It's worth a shot. What is the next pattern we're going to put in the library? That's going to be the pterodactyl. Um, will be up this week. And then uh, the ankylosaurus will be up soon after. And then we're doing a lot of dinosaurs. So a lot of dinosaurs are coming up. And then uh, after that, uh, we're going to get into... Uh, well, after that, it'll be probably near October. So we'll probably start doing some like... I'm thinking like this big for the, you know, like pretty small for the halo. Well, maybe bigger than that. Like this big. So it goes around it a little bit. Or do we make it floating a little higher? No, I like it around just like the tip like that. Okay, we're going to do that big. Um, and then after that, we're, it's going to be near Halloween. So we'll probably get into more Halloween patterns. Um, I really want to do a Kirby pattern because it's Kirby's like 35th anniversary right now. And I have a pretty good Kirby pattern that I've been meaning to do anyhow. So. But honestly, the true answer is uh, for the next one, it's going to be dinosaurs. We're going to get doing some a pterodactyl and ankylosaurus soon. Someone also suggested that I do a hermit crab, and I really like that idea. So I'm going to try working on that <laughs> so that eventually I can come out with it. Probably won't be. It'll be a while, like maybe summer next year, because, you know, I have so many things coming out before then. But, yeah, that might be something, too. So we're going to go... If we do it like vertical a little bit, like this, and then we had it go like just over it like that, is what I'm thinking. And then we wrap it in yarn, like we did with the horns. Yeah? I like that. I like it. So we're just going to double, or we're going to twist on the inside. Okay, Leah, thank you for joining. I can't wait to see what you crochet. I'll see you next time. And hey, if you want to share what you crochet uh, with us, um, we have a Discord channel you can share it to, and there's also a Facebook group, uh, both of which you can find links to in the description of this video. But it's a great way to help uh, to, to show off the things that you make. And just like chat with other 
other crocheters and stuff like that. Okay, so there is the base of it. I kind of do like that it's fuzzy like that, but I think yarn makes it like work together with everything else a little bit more um, seamlessly. So we're gonna use yarn. You know, I do like the fuzziness of it though. It's just a too, it's a little too neon for my, for my taste, I think. Are we still doing Bonimals? Heck yes, we're still doing Bonimals. Yeah, Bonimals ain't going anywhere. Uh, new Bonimals should be coming out pretty soon. But, you know, like everything else, I, with this move, it's just been a lot of, a lot of a lot. I haven't moved in over a decade, so... There's a lot to uh, figure out, basically. Uh, but yes, Bonimals will be coming soon. Ish. Okay, let's hope we have enough yarn here. It's a pretty big halo, so I'm not sure. But we're not gonna wrap it too crazy, so it'll probably be fine. But it is gonna. This is gonna be annoying. <laughs> what we're about to do is gonna be well, not annoying, but. We're gonna continuously be coming in and out of it like this. Like probably a couple hundred times. <laughs> well, maybe not that much. We're gonna try to keep it so that the yarn is as close together as we can so we don't have any of the yellow poking through. That is a really important thing for this part of this, of adding this halo. And it might get bent a little weird, but we can always unbend it in the right direction. See, so I'm like continuously going a little farther and then holding it into place as I wrap it to the next part. You can kind of see it in between my fingers there. It's gonna be a process. Why am I moving? We are moving for a few reasons. One, it is too expensive in San Francisco. It is just crazy pricey here. Um, we've been wanting to move for a while too. Uh, Club Crochet is really run out of Southern California. That's where I make, I get all the kits made. My friend puts the kits all together and stuff. And uh, we want to end up buying a house. We want to eventually have kids and stuff, so living near the parents would be nice. Um, really, it's just time. It's time to move on. I'm pretty excited, actually. We also just need more space in general. Like, we currently live in a two-bedroom apartment that costs a lot because we're in San Francisco. And we could get you know, we, we could use a little bit more space because both Jules and I work from home. So it's kind of like, you know, we have one office for both of us. And it's kind of hard to work in that same space, especially when we're doing such different things, you know. I get in Jules' way a lot and I don't know. We just need, we need a change and that's all right. A squangel. <laughs> it's a squangel. Exactly, Osacraft. That's looking really good, though. If I can keep up that, like, tension of how close the yarn is to each other all the way around. We're only about a fourth done, but if I can keep that going, it'll look really good. Uh, when am I moving? We are moving at the end of the, um, the month. Yeah. So August, uh, like, we'll be out by August 1st. Ugh, gives me anxiety just thinking about it. <laughs> this is too much yarn, I think, maybe. I don't know. Better be safe than sorry, though, because it would really suck to run out of yarn before we made it to the end. You can hardly hear me. Uh-oh. Is my audio messed up? 
No, it's it's looking good. Can you hear me now? Uh, did I put the dragon bottom on the rough draft? Oh, shoot. You know what? I didn't. I didn't. I do have it written down, though, so I can add it there soon. Um, yeah, I want to add the raptor, though. More, more importantly right now, I think, is going to be the raptor pattern. I'm just going to say no need to use the needle anymore. We'll just do it like this. Um, because I want to get that raptor pattern out ASAP, and it definitely needs some testing. Because it is a weird one. It's a no-sew pattern, though. It's really tiny raptor. It's really cute. Um, I'll show you in, in just a bit. Start thinking of names for the squid, by the way. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna put it in the in the sheet at, right after this. Actually, you know what, Cooper? Could do you think you could do that? Could you just put a new line in the Google Sheet and say like "Name our squid" and then post it in the chat for me? That'd be super useful because we do need to get names. Look at that though. That's looking pretty good as far as the halo goes. When uh when am I going to Stitches West? I'm going to Stitches West. Um Well, actually first we're doing Stitches Southern California, I think in November. And that's going to be in uh like I think it's in like Pasadena or something it's in Southern California somewhere so I'm gonna do go there and then uh, and then we're gonna do stitches West I think it's in March like March 3rd or something I think it's something like that Johnny you sent it you're nervous I don't you don't have to be nervous at all uh, uh, I'll take a look at it as soon as I can, and uh, we'll talk about it. Um, uh, honestly, though, don't be nervous about it. It'll be, it'll be fine. We'll make it work regardless. Like the whole point here is that I'm going to help you uh, make it perfecto mundo. We'll test it out and write it all up right and get it tested by other people. And no, no need to be nervous. I promise. It's gonna be totally chill. But thank you for sending it. Almost there. Okay. okay. We definitely did not need so much yellow yarn. That's okay. This song is so epic. So name our squid. Uh, we just got it in the chat. So go ahead and suggest some names for our squid we'll do a vote for it it's pretty soon you got any ideas for names uh now or never and then i'm gonna choose my four favorite for a vote and we can choose we can vote on our favorite name okay Just about there. Okay, cool, we made it. Let me just wrap 
our way back down the pipe cleaner, down to its base, and then double knot on the inside. Okay. So right here. We need this. We don't need this in the center. There we go. Through. Okay. Double knot these two together. Okay, we got our halo made. Oh, thank you, Cooper. I love that. Cooper says that any uh, names that you add to the chat, he'll add himself to the um, to the sheet. So if you have any uh, suggestions for names, you can also put it in the chat, and, and Cooper will help out. There we go. Okay, so there's our halo. That's pretty great, I think. Very simple, but I, I really like it. I do wish, I mean, obviously I wish that I didn't have to have this connected to him, but I haven't exactly figured out how to make things float yet. Still got, I still need to work on my um, wizard classes to figure that part out. Okay, next I'm gonna make one more round uh, and then our add our eyes, just because it might be kind of hard to crochet it uh, if I have the eyes already in there. So I at least want to get a little bit more, a little further here. Just at least in front of the face. One. Oopsies. Two. I also think it might be fun to add like eyelashes or something. But we'll see what it looks like with the eyes on. Once I finish this round, decrease one, two, and decrease. Okay, pull that out. Okay, next up, let's add our eyes. Um, we're gonna do big buttes means we're going to use eight millimeter eyes. Jeez. I just threw an eyeball, but I don't know where it went. Oh, well. Disappeared into the ether. That was a satisfying click. All right. So for the eyes, I'm going to make them looking forward. Uh, just because, you know, he's a... Or, or she... They're... They're not going to be derpy eyes. So we need to make it looking forward a little bit. So like this. Oh, look at those big buttes. And then over here. that oh gorgeous you're gorgeous we definitely can use they them pronouns for this angel probably should use they them pronouns for both of them I mean they're 
demons and angels, not human beings. You totally could, Emily. Yeah, magnets would be a really good... Um, Magnets would be a really good work, uh, good workaround for that. I think. Um, just use whatever. It, what you should use though is those really strong ones that I I use. So like, um, I actually don't have any right around me, but they're called neodymium magnets. They're really, 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 really strong. Um, because you want them to be strong. But yeah, Sam, like what Sam said there, uh, Velcro might be good too. Um, I don't think magnets could be that dangerous for little ones as long as the magnets are inside of the actual crocheted thing. Uh, not like on the outside. So they can't like swallow them. But I also don't have kids, so I don't know. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to stuff our squidly a little bit. Uh, and I also... Do I want to add anything else? Do we do we want anything else for our squid to make it more? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think we're we're happy with how it how they look, or do you think it needs they need a little something something else? We definitely need to like stretch out the that a little bit, fix the. It's pretty adorable though. We could add how oh, eyelashes might be kind of tough with how the eyes look right now. We could try it, but it might not be worth it. Wings. Yeah, that's right. We could add wings. Yeah. Let's go ahead and figure out a name. Let's, I want to see what names you guys have been suggesting. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> There's only like four names so far. Five names. You guys need I, I need more name suggestions. Um, let's see. Do we want to try? Let's see. Let me try wings and see how they would look. I do have a really uh, a nice little technique that I've been doing for wings. Let's try it. because we don't want it too pointy. I'll go. More. Like that. Let's try like that. Let's see how this looks. I'm just making. I I had a general idea, but I kind of just went off <laughs> went off the rails for a little bit there. But that's okay. Let's see. This is what we could add for wings. Hey, it's not too bad. Like this. It's it's it is actually it's kind of cute. It is kind of cute. Wings, yay or nay? What do you think? Johnny, I did I actually didn't see uh don't see where your last message about magnets is other than the where you say neodymium magnets.
Unless you messaged me somewhere else. Okay. Yay? Okay, that's a lot of yays. All right, yay it is. Let's do, uh, I'll make one more so I, before I forget how I made it. And then I'll sew them on. They're pretty easy. Let's see. Let's make sure this looks. These are the same <laughs> wings. That. Yeah, that's the same. Pretty easy. Cool. So we'll go one, and then two. Cool. We'll do it. Little angel and demon. How did I make that wing? Okay, ready, Cooper? I'll tell you. It's chain four, skip two chains, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Do that again. So after, after doing that, chain four, skip two chains, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Then chain two, and then... Uh, starting in the same back loop that you just slip stitched into before to make the point, you double crochet one, and then working into the back loops across, you do a half, two half double crochets, one to the next chain, and then the next half double crochet goes into the next back uh, loop from this other point. And then finally, into the final back loop chain, you single crochet one, and then chain one, cut pull through to make uh, the knot so you can sew it onto the end um, it's actually how I made the well it's close to how I made the wings for the little miniature dragon actually um, yeah I can write it down I think soon Let's see how far along the back do we want we want them to be like poking out right so let's do like right here and then here or we could do here and here. Actually, let's try that. So we'll do one here, and then one there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Make sure kids don't eat two diamond magnets. If they eat two, they can tear through the intestines. Mm. But what happens if they eat three? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, don't let your kids eat magnets in general. I, I. I don't think they have very many nutritional benefits in general. Don't eat magnets until you are an adult. Then you're allowed to eat magnets. No, not really. Don't eat magnets ever. Never eat magnets. Unless they're candy coated. No, that's a joke. See? 
little wing. And we'll stuff the inside with the little ends. Actually, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really need to cut it. And then we'll do the other on the other side. Oh, we need a name. Uh, I need to put our name vote out. So let me finish this first. How many away did I do? One, two stitches away from the where the black starts. So one, two, so it'd be like here and there. Is that too high? Let's try there. I will I will put this on an Instagram. I will, I promise. Octaville and whatever we end up naming this guy. Or this angel. Squid. Squangel. Squangel. Make sure there's knots are poking through. What time is it? Ooh, I gotta I gotta rock I gotta rock and roll soon. Fun. Double knot there. Like sure. Close, even though we don't really need to. And we'll stuff it with these extra ends. And do our last round uh, once we put names up. Let's see how those wings look, though. Hey, you know what? The wings look pretty good. Wings look like a good addition. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get pictures of both of these after this stream is over too. Fix the nose just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Names. Have have I been roasted by the vegan teacher yet? I don't I don't think so. What does that mean? Okay, names, 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 names. Uh name our Squid. <coughs> One more. We're gonna do this one. I changed it last second. I I changed it. All right. Name suggestions uh, 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 are vote to be voted on now. Choosing that name. The vegan teacher. Let's look her up. Oh boy. Yeah, no, I haven't been roasted by the vegan teacher, and uh, I think I'm all right without being roasted by the vegan teacher. Okay. Next. Let's do our last decreasing. Last round of decreasing. The so tomato looks like a star. It does. It's got beautiful star eyes. Two. Three. Four, five, 
One more. Six. That's pretty good. All right. Cut the yarn. We'll go ahead and stuff it a little bit more, sew it closed. And then, uh, yeah, we'll rock and roll. More, more stuffing. <gasps> hey, I found the eye I lost. I found it. Okay. I agree. This one is very nice. Do we need any more stuffing? Yes. Just a little tiny bit more. That much more. Okay, five, six. <laughs> I love how I came in not, I definitely was like, oh yeah, we're gonna make like a cowboy hat and like a spinning wheel hat. And then we came out with a demon and a angel, squid, and octopus. I was so not expecting to make these today. <laughs> Love it. All right. Okay, we still, you can still vote on the name because there's no, uh, there's no uh, absolute winner yet. I'll give it a little bit more time, but look at how, okay. Some close-ups here, all right? Here's our angel squid. Look at them wings. Oh, it's so beautiful. Really just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. Angel squid. And demon octopus. <laughs> oh my gosh. I honestly, I don't know which one I like more. They are both so cool. Super cool. I think I like the demon one more. I don't know. They're so cool. Okay. Well, while you guys are finishing voting for names, someone wants to say hello. Hold on. Where is he? 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 We want your opinion on uh, which one of these names we should go with. <clears throat> ah, I was having the best dream ever. What were you dreaming about? I had a dream that there were millions of centipedes just crawling all over me. That sounds, that sounds like a nightmare to me. Nah, 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 nah. It was great. I just thought I had to open my mouth. Ah, and they just crawled in there. And I just... You know how much I love centipedes. You do love centipedes. Jack is crazy. Anyhow, which of those names... Uh, which of these names do you like the best? You keep going right in front of me, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let me... Okay, no. Yeah, there you go. Which of these names do you like the best? The name options are Ink Angel, Sophia, Squangel, and uh, Cappy. 
Hmm. Let's see. Which one's winning? Right now, uh, it looks like Squangel is winning. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's the most fun to say. Squangel. Squangel. Yeah. And it, and it does work because cause the octopus is named Octaval. So Squangel and Octaval. Mm, a little on the nose, but uh, I like things on the nose, you know? I do knows. All right. Well, Jack, thank you for your wonderful opinion and saying hello. Um, we will see you, what, next time? You gonna try to catch that dream again? Yeah, I'm gonna go try to uh, get back to that dream uh, and gobble up some more centipedes and, uh, you know, see how it goes. All right, well, you have fun with that. Thanks for joining. Bye, everybody. Bye, Tina. <laughs> Crazy, man. Have fun. <laughs> All right, and with that, we're gonna we are gonna close the vote. Last vote ended, and the name's gonna be Squangel. <laughs> We've got Octaval and Squangel. Beautiful, just really, just really a beaut. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Love and Life is like, what is happening right now? Um, okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to try to come next Sunday, but I might have to move it to the Wednesday after that. I'll keep you updated. If you want updates, obviously, make sure to like this video. Subscribe down below. Um, hit the bell icon so you don't miss it when we do come out with new ones. And, uh... Uh, also join the email list. That's how I notify you when new live streams are coming out. So um, there is, uh, yeah, there's an email list. You can find it just by going to, I think if you just go to clubcrochet.com and create an account, you get an email account and it automatically adds you to live stream email and you can unsubscribe to it if you want to. Um, yes, wonderful live stream. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'll see you guys hopefully next week and uh, Pasta Pizza, love ya. And, oh my god, stop, stop, you hang up first, no you, oh my gosh, no you hang up first, stop it, stop, oh my god, what are you doing right now, stop, you hang up first, no you hang up first, oh my god, you're so bad, you're so, you're making me blush, stop it. No, you. No, you. Stop it. No, you hang up first. Okay, bye. Bye.